Good morning. It's Monday. It's garbage day. As CJ always films his, I'm going to film mine. There he goes. And that is the recycle guy. Uh, the door's not helping out too much, huh? How exciting. Oh. Yeah, it's a recycle, that's not the uh, regular garbage. There he goes. Wow. And the regular garbage truck. Guess the neighbors didn't put out their garbage. So, that's the excitement of our garbage truck. There he goes. Wow. I hope... Uh, he went away. There was a hummingbird gathering off the lint feeder, the lint uh, hanger, not the feeder, but, uh, and I didn't catch him in time. I might have caught when he just flew away, but I just happened to look out, and he was there, and if you look at the bottom there, you can see it's hanging a little bit of the lint. So hopefully it comes back and I'll show you. But that's the first time I've seen the Hummer uh, grab lint for a nest. That's what it was looking like at least. He was uh, hovering in front of it and around the side of it. And then he came around over on this side. Uh, so I'm not too sure if he was, you know, gathering for a nest or, or what, but uh, that's the first time I've seen that. He's on the other side of the street. <clears throat> there he goes down the street. Yeah, through the screen door doesn't look too well. My first black chin of the year. He's not coming in too well. <clears throat> I can't focus on him. I just happened to look out and he just flew in. <clears throat> You can see kind of the black around his throat. I wish this came in better. There he flew off. But yeah, I'll have to mark that down. Um, <clears throat> all the uh, other times it's been an Anna or the female Anna. The male and female. That's the first black chin I've seen. So I haven't even played any Minecraft today. I'll probably be start playing it here in a few, but uh, I've been uh, waiting to see if the Hummers are going to come back. Uh, I've already seen a female uh, Anna and the uh, Black Chin, but uh, last time I saw them was uh, around three, and it's uh, after 5:30 now, 5:38. So I'm, I, I just try to keep waiting and show you guys, uh, you know. But it's interesting, I've seen two of them hover around the uh, lint hanger now. I'm not too sure if they're pulling off any lint, but, uh, um, you know, if they're hovering. Because their beaks are like a straw in a rubber band. It, it's hard to explain, but... Um, they can only like snap their their beaks um, when they grab something like a 
an insect or something. Uh, there's there's quite a few videos on YouTube about it. Uh, it's not like a regular bird beak, which opens and closes with muscles. It's more like a reaction um, of how it snaps. I, I've I, you know I've seen slow motion vids on it, and I haven't seen it uh, uh, in real life yet. I, I've seen them hover around insects last year uh, in the in the front. Um, my brother pointed out and I went out and looked and then he flew off but uh, um, and they'll eat spiders too it, it's interesting what they'll eat you know small bugs and stuff uh, they'll fly around they'll, they'll go for spiders and webs so you know it's springtime now that they'll be looking for that so they don't actually um, you know they'll take drinks out of the feeder but uh, um, you know they have other sources of food and um, that's mostly for water and energy uh, the the uh, hummingbird feeder provides for them oh it did get up to 71 today and it's been breezy but uh, hopefully if it's as warm as today um, hopefully tomorrow I'll uh, get working on the baling bucket and uh, get that glued up which I, I I haven't been able to the past few months or more uh, seeing it's been cold weather but uh, if it's as warm as today hopefully uh, I'll get that uh, I gotta file it down some a little bit uh, take off the rough edges and glue it up and uh, let it sit and bake out there that's why I'm guessing. I don't know how well this. Um, it's not a PVC glue, but it's a. It's for black plastic. It's the black pa plastic pipe ABS. That's what it is. ABS glue. Uh, that's why I'm using is a, a three inch uh, diameter pipe and not four inch. Uh, I found that when I was getting parts that I. I went and bought the wrong, wrong stuff, had to return it and get the right diameter um, pipe and fittings and stuff for it. Um, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, they're saying 72. 72 for a high. So uh, that should be warm enough and let it bake out there. And uh, hopefully it goes. I need to get it going and get some water and water or some stuff around here uh, you know I've been trying to uh, skimp on using water uh, you know I've, I still have water in buckets in, in the house and you know, pretty soon I'll be having a bunch more plants that would be needing because I'm, I'm gonna, going to uh, probably trash the two flats of the um, tobacco because they're not doing as well and the peanut jar um, that will be going into different uh, pots soon or bigger containers for them to grow right now that it's overcrowded in there and they need to be pulled out put them in bigger containers and have them get going so um, that might be for tobacco all this season I don't know I, I might try some more but uh, the uh, flats didn't work out as well as I thought and that's how you learn uh, I thought they would uh, grow as much as the peanut jar did um, and the mold was from overwatering and, and uh, being enclosed they didn't have the air circulation either so I kinda knew that might have happened but uh, you know it did and that's how it goes so um, if the birds come back I'll show you right now they're not it'd be nice I just you know swing the camera over nothing's over at the uh, hangar either so if they uh, stop by I'll hopefully I can grab the camera quick enough to show you he caught him he's back again
This is the uh, black chin. Yeah, see, it's still fuzzy. It's not focusing. might be back again. This is the second time that he's uh, visited within a couple minutes. So that was yesterday afternoon, evening. Nothing else happened since then so that's how it goes. I've been up and off awake all night. Well a couple times, a few times. Uh, around midnight had a uh, low blood sugar uh, uh, not seizure but uh, enough that uh, I couldn't go back to sleep I was shaking pretty bad well pretty bad enough to get up and eat something I only had a bowl of cereal yesterday and if I don't eat enough that's what happens well if I don't yeah, if I don't eat enough at a regular interval, I guess, for the uh, my blood sugar to stay up, which I wasn't hungry. Uh, that's what, that's what happens, and you know, hours later it catches up to you. You know, I should have at least uh, had something of a snack or something before I went to sleep. But you know, that's how it how how it goes for me. Um, I was up like three times last night or the, tonight well thanks for watching enough of my bl blabbing today and uh, today we'll uh, I don't know if it's warm enough I want to get the bailing bucket done that's a uh, high priority also want to talk about something else uh, which I might do here after breakfast and what was the other thing I was gonna do um, I can't remember now Oh, the tobacco. I think we're going to scrap the two uh, flats of tobacco. Uh, I thought about it yesterday quite a bit. And uh, I don't know if I'll do that all in one day or not. Maybe I'll do the tobacco tomorrow. So thanks for watching.